Well, good morning, Reality Taurus. Glad you're with me this morning to take a tour of the day and check out what is going on today. If you will take a seat on the Liberty Bus, we will get started. I hope I don't overwhelm you today. I have a lot of links, but I won't take a lot of time to talk about them. You can go to pearlsofliberty.com, visit the links, and read the ones that interest you for yourselves. First of all, this gun thing just does not quit. It's I don't like talking about it, but I, I, at the same time, I know it is very deeply significant. Illinois total gun ban legislation to be submitted, confiscation to follow. The Illinois legislature is working on this right now. They've already passed part of it, I believe, or uh, part of the legislature has passed it. At the same time, Illinois court strikes down state's unconstitutional ban on concealed carry. So there's this strange tension here. We know there's going to be a struggle. We'll see where it all goes. Bank of England's chief of financial stability, internet technology will break up big bank monopoly. This article is about peer-to-peer -peer financing and how that's something that we can do on our own and eliminate the need for big banks. And think George Bailey here. It's a wonderful life. That's pretty much what he was doing. Eight corporate subsidies in fiscal cliff bill, including NASCAR, Goldman Sachs, and Disney. And I'm only bringing this up because I mentioned yesterday about the fiscal cliff bill being passed. It's unclear why private businesses should be compensated for their costs of doing business, yet they are being compensated for their costs of doing business, and that was a big part of the fiscal cliff bill. Iran claims shooting down two U.S. drones, and I mentioned this because Friends and I were talking about Iran and their tremendous technology, the Keshe Foundation. If you don't know about that, you might want to look that up. Iran seems to have technology that the U.S. is not quite equal to, which I believe is part of the reason we have not started war with Iran. It's only a part of the reason. There are a lot of reasons, but... Iran's got some good stuff going on. I included some health news today. Proof breast cancer cells can revert to normal without drugs. Yay. Don't rush out and get a mammogram and take a bunch of toxins. Talk to a naturopathic doctor and try to work with your body if you have an issue like this. That is not professional advice. <laughs> <laughs> That's like your mother or grandmother telling you what she would do in that instance. Black seed, the remedy for everything but death. I have not heard of this black seed before, which is why I included it, just in case you haven't heard of it either. It sounds like some promising news. Also, optimism reduces stroke risk, improves health. I take some hits from friends and family for being optimistic sometimes. I can't live in a negative world and y'all should be optimistic because you'll be healthier. Again, not professional advice. The American Revolution Against British Gun Control. This article states that gun control is what precipitated the American Revolution. Hmm, imagine that. Any parallels to today? We're praying that we don't have war, right? Gun control and psychological operations. This is an interesting article. I won't get into a lot of detail on it because I want to move on. PSYOPs, manual, 
Alex Jones this morning was talking about a PSYOP technique called gaslighting where you try to convince someone that something they know to be true or they know they experienced was not true or they didn't really experience it and Alex of course the link's not up on Infowars yet because he just was talking about it tomorrow I'll try to remember to get back to that but here is a PDF file copy of a PSYOPs manual from the Vietnam War and I, I have not read this yet, but I understand that it, did, it does mention gaslighting. So if you feel like you're crazy, everyone tries to convince you that something's not real that you know to be real, you're not crazy. They're just trying to pull your leg. This article is about resisting the very thing that I was talking about, PSYOPs, and I just want to read part of this paragraph. For the past century, at least in the United States, a subversive and secret Cold War has been waged against the people in the form of psychological subjugation. This Cold War is designed to weaken our resolve, our heritage, our self-belief, our confidence, and our integrity in preparation for a hot war against our time-honored constitutional rights. Fight back. This article is all about how the, the battleground is the mind and of all the articles I suggested today, I might suggest this one the most strongly. It's so crucial that we are grounded and that we know the truth to be true and this is a prophetic vision and of course the I'll include the link in the comments on YouTube and at Pearls of Liberty this prophetic vision has to do with people in the church being deceived by pleasant words spoken by pastors whatever uh, pastors and teachers worldwide have succumbed to heretical teachings, uh, including you know. Now, <laughs> to be honest with you, <laughs> the specifics of this, I, I sort of do believe myself in universal reconciliation, uh, because I, you know, it's not somebody's fault that they're born into a Hindu family, right? Are they? Is God going to send them to hell for that? I have trouble with that, but. I do agree with the premise of this vision, I believe it's from God, that there has been deceptive, seductive teaching that has misled, I like to call them churchians. So that's the tour for the day. I hope I did not exhaust you. This is a very busy time. And there's a lot going on. Thank you for joining me for the tour presented by She Who Will Walk in the Dark Productions. And I never want to say anything to make you afraid. You shouldn't be afraid. Because, you know, the dawn is coming. So take care. <laughs>